I hate no. shitty no. Kickstarters. You keep, take, you keep taking my intro. Can oh. you hand me that knife that's over there? Hello and welcome to This Is. Do you need to start with a good kick in the pants? Then we got the episode for you. Do you need to indie go, go, go to another video because this one started really bad? <laughs> We're going to look at some of the worst Kickstarter Dare I say scams? Ooh, that's my word. And then we're gonna play a game where we're gonna learn about it. We're gonna give you some info, and then we're gonna try and guess how much they raised in their scam funding. I mean, kickstarting the solar freaking <laughs> roadways. Everyone knows the swear jar spill us over if you say freaking. This made absolutely buck wild promises about how it could replace existing roads with glass top solar panels and basically give free energy to everyone. So. Uh, no. Roads are, even though they're using quite simple materials like asphalt and crushed hopes and dreams, think about the logistics of this. Putting solar on your house can cost tens of thousands of dollars. And that's for what? Like eight solar panels on top of your roof? Dude, do you know how expensive this would be? If this actually was a real thing, this would cost like now, more money mean, than the whole world has. There's not this many solar panels. Here's the thing. It could like the glass was durable enough to withstand, uh, withstand traffic and whatnot. Really the only reason this failed is because it couldn't withstand the weight of your mom. How much do you think the solar freaking roadways raised? You won the last actually. couple. I have one. So I gotta, I gotta hold okay. this to my chest. I'm going to say this raised $350,000. Between I, both Kickstarter and whatever investing. No, 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 no. I'm going $1.2 million. Oh! Boom! Why? What? Almost 50,000 backers. What if crazy idea, instead of making the ground the solar panels, we put the panels above the ground. What? That's like impossible, Matt. every high school that I've ever what? seen in California Matt, does. They also raised an additional almost $2.5 million using Start Engine to put this at a valuation of $30 million. We need to move on. This is going to go off the rails, off the road so quickly, right? <laughs> the Fontis self-filling water bottle. Don't you hate it when you're outdoors and you drink all your water and then have a thirsty, thirsty dry mouth? Well, never fear. <laughs> The Fontas generates water out of thin air. This uses a fan and or your bike momentum and solar energy to draw in air and condensates. So the idea with this is that you are riding on your bike. Yeah. There's a lot of air flowing in. Yep. And then a condensation mm -hmm. and drip, 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 the little dribblings into your water bottle and then you suck them all up. <laughs> Theoretically, if we just purely assume that there, yes, is humidity in the air using a little solar panel to i don't know get that condensation ready to get excited and drop into your bottle or whatever but i just can't imagine unless you're riding for like 60 miles in a rainstorm or something how this is going to be able to generate enough water for you to actually drain as long as you actually start thinking about it for all of two seconds you realize there's no way there's no way that could be like i'm thirsty how much did this raise? I'm gonna say $300,000. Okay, I feel pretty confident. My guess is going to be $27,000. It's Matt. Boy! No, 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 no. Would you Ooh. say that money evaporated? The, mm. uh, secret? Secret. Secret. <laughs> In 2014, this was listed as an Indiegogo, but was deemed too sus and therefore resurfaced on their own website, taking PayPal <clears throat> non-refundable donations. Now, the way this was supposedly going to work is it is a $300 bracelet to project your phone screen on your wrist. Now, that actually is, again, like most of these, doesn't sound like a completely insane idea. The problem, though, is that, first of all, um, I don't know how your arms are, Matt, but I will say my arms are not particularly um, reflective for uh, a, a surface to be projected upon. You don't want to reflect this, sir. You want I don't, a, no. You want a matte screen, so I'd be perfect candidate. I will actually give a little bit of props to Kickstarter and a little bit of props to Indiegogo for trying to get some of this nonsense off their platform. Clearly, this was it. I'm going to go with first again yep. because I feel like it. Well, I went first last time. But okay, that's fine. I'm going to say the secret raised $51,000. Okay, so he's completely wrong. I'm gonna like play defensively because I think there's enough idiots out here. You say $52,000, I'm gonna punch you in the face. Do not prices right me right now, Matthew. Do not prices right me. So I'm gonna go with $250,000, okay, which I think is low. Okay. I think there's enough idiots that think this would be a real I thing. I don't think so. <laughs> Wait, what? 
$640,000. You know what? The people who probably donated to this, they're probably the people who got their beat up for their lunch money. So really bold coming from someone who was homeschooled. <laughs> Gills, Triton artificial gills. It's like a movie thing. This claimed to be the world's first artificial gills rebreather. So this worked the exact opposite way of the Fontas. It would take all of the oxygen that was in water and rebreathe it into your lungs. But the problem is, it took all of two seconds for people to do the math that if you did get literally 100% of the oxygen out of the water, it would require an insane amount of water per minute. Something like hundreds of gallons of water per minute, like yeah. completely impractical. I can drink that in 30 seconds. With their logic being completely and totally blown, yep. the company did the right thing. They closed their Kickstarter. They gave everyone their money back and they said, hey, sorry, we didn't do our math right. Or they said, haha, just kidding. We're actually just gonna sell you liquid oxygen canisters. Cause that's totally a brand new revolutionary thing. Go ahead and guess because you're gonna be wrong. Well, okay. So this is, I'm guessing the pre-refunded amount. So like what this originally listed before they took it down. You know how in gambling, if you lose, the best option is to continue betting until you eventually win or you have no house anymore. That's that's my strategy today. I'm gonna say that this raised $74,000. I'm gonna go with, again, $250,000. And I think that's low, but I'm playing defensively because he's so wrong. Ah! <laughs> what? what? Almost $1 million. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it, Kickstarter. Stop it! Crowdfund me! Stop it! I'm upset because I'm losing. I'm also upset that not you, Tem, but you, Jeremy, wasted your money on this nonsense Kickstarter. You could have so wasted scary. your money on a free This Is subscription. I guarantee you it's 100% refundable and zero dollars and zero cents. Invest now in This Is. For a mere $300, you can be an early bird backer. <laughs> I'll go like this to you on the street. So next up we have the Scarp Laser Razor. No. Laser Razor. Wait. Our editor Aaron doesn't know how to speak words. <laughs> and he'll be coming around just like, can we get some lunchy wunchies? And <laughs> and so now like I'm just if if Aaron ever <laughs> named a product, it'd be the Scarp Laser Razor. <laughs> This came out in 2015 for the mere, mere, mere price of $290. It was powered by a small laser which cuts through hair. It doesn't require water or shaving cream and or lotion. However, lotion is nice at the end to, you know, get a little... You don't little, need it. Yeah. After you laser razor, you're smooth as a scarp's butt. So last year we had, it was the last year we had an update and they basically said, sir, we're out of money. Razor should buy. Scarp? The Scarf. So it'd be the Razor Laser Razor. They did update a, a second model of V2 uh -huh. that had a secondary function. So it was the Razor Laser Razor Taser. <laughs> I'm going to say that this was $101,000. Not even close. So this was $750,000. And again, I'm thinking low. $4 million! What? I'll give you a consolation prize, yeah. like the equivalent of putting like a star on the fridge. Cool, thank you. Because you were closest to what they were asking for. The Crystal Wash I heard Crystal. I don't like crystals. Matt, you know what my thought is on Crystal. If it's not Pokemon Crystal, I don't like it. This uses no detergent, but uses the power of bioceramics <laughs> from the earth. So this used quote unquote, no chemicals, but it supposedly creates natural hydrogen peroxide to disinfect laundry, which is a chemical. There was a social media app accompanying this. Okay. So every time you scrubbed, you got scrub points. You have to put it out in the sun every 30 days to recharge it. Your smelly cousin would have would have okay. really we benefited don't talk from about this. smelly cousins on this is anymore. When people actually got these, because they did actually ship some of them, although a lot of backers just simply never received anything people put these side by side with the actual hot water without anything in there it's basically the same so aka your natural hydrogen peroxide was a complete scam wrong i didn't You're even right. say it you gotta let me say wrong. the thing matt okay it is gonna be no nope. incorrect forty two thousand dollars what's it like being a big dumb dumb i'm about to tell you it was seven hundred oh my god thousand Oh, wait! I think I get Austin the point. Austin gets the point. $268,000. The one time I don't play defensively. I just, I just gotta pet my point. Just, mm. Mm. 
That's a good point. You should not pet your point on camera. The Dragonfly Future Fawn. Wait a minute. Have we talked about this on a past This Is? Kenzie, this is looking awfully familiar. Right display detached and could be used as an Android phone and or tablet. The idea is that you can do so much with a device it like this. It was a wind droid. This is where it gets a little dicey. Uh -oh. The Indiegogo promo compared its maker to Rosa Parks mm. and the Tiananmen Square protesters. And the CEO was convicted on 12 counts of fraud, one of which being poor taste. Hit me. How much was it? I, cause I feel like we talked about this and this is. $1.2 million. Okay, I'm gonna guess less than that. I'm gonna say $522,000. Oh! I think you win. So $726,000. So, oh. uh, is this what we call a uh, comeback? Surprise, surprise, this came from the Fr San Francisco Bay Area. Well, All Jeff right. Patillo, I think, is in jail right now, so. Is that where the jail is? Alcatraz? The, the I backpack. backpack. In 2016, this came out, and it was $150 for a non-Wi-Fi version mm -hmm. and $250 for a Wi-Fi version. It had battery ports. 16 USB ports was bulletproof. Wait, hold on. What? 149 bucks actually not bad, because last time I bought a bulletproof vest, it was a whole lot more than that. Why are you buying bulletproof vests? When you're out here, open up PlayStations. When you're evaluating DK oldies, uh, uh, you know, people yeah. get a little salty, man. I gotta just be prepared. So supposedly, the founder was spending all this money that he was supposed to be putting into your Wi-Fi bulletproof backpack <laughs> on Bitcoin. He was just <laughs> taking the money out. kg has got some fun facts for us on this, and I don't care about this at all. The founder also claims he is only 5'8", but that's because doctors amputated an inch of his leg. This backpack seems like a good deal. Kind of, actually. Bulletproof? Wi-Fi? How much do you think they made for the iBackpack? Which is just a dumb name. $272,000. Seven fifty. Oh, wow. That's yeah. good. That's good. $721,000. The Arist coffee maker. Arist. So this is a, uh, okay, sure. Arist. Uh, it was a Keurig-sized, quote-unquote, smart coffee maker that allows you to download coffee recipes and recommendations. Now, people were a little skeptical that that would all fit. And also, they did kind of imply that one of the stretch goals was that Psy of Gangnam Style would be doing a special performance. I don't quite understand why that makes sense in your coffee maker, but you do you. They did a second kick starter because the first one was quote unquote not good enough to meet their minimum order quota before they just disappear with everyone's money they were actually sued by an engineering design firm that they worked with for seven hundred fifteen thousand dollars and they lost and then Cy from had to perform for the engineering firm <laughs> instead there's a very important little hint here that kenzie's left and a little nugget that i have uncovered if they were sued for seven hundred fifteen thousand dollars then my guess is they probably raised somewhere in that sort of neighborhood. Because how else would they have been able to give the money to the supposed engineering firm? No, I'm going with $1 million. No, I'm going to say $482,000. 1 million. $845,000 short of Gang of Style. I'm just basking in how right I was. You're basking in coffee juices right now, Matt. Is coffee juice? Yeah, you're juicing the beans. All right, last up we got... The Xano Mini Drone in 2013 for $210. You could control it with a smartphone, but you could also control it with smartphone gestures. So it would automatically track the operator or follow him along. It would avoid obstacles in a totally not faked video whatsoever. The way they positioned this was that they had more features than drones of the time that were 10 times the price. They took over 3,000 more pre-orders in addition to the campaign. And while they did ship out 600 pre-orders, only four of the backers got it. They didn't work. And then they were bankrupt in 2016. I just like, it looks like you're going, oh, I'm going to let be, you guess. Gonna be a lot. I'm, I'm going to let you guess. All right, I'm gonna give up. I was hoping that one of these would be like $73 and I would win. $822,000. 1.2. Okay, we're both pretty close. 2.3 million pounds? 3.5 million US freedom dollars. Oh my God, that's a lot of money. And they still didn't ship anything. That's the four people and they didn't work. It turns out that the only obstacles that they were avoiding was giving stuff to backers. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and ring -ling the ding -ling button here for always fresh content delivered straight to your subscription boxes. I'll guarantee you that uh, we will not be scamming you out of millions of dollars anytime soon. Because if we could, we would. Like, follow, subscribe, and let us know what Kickstarter scams you want us to look at next. No, don't do that. We've already done them all. There's no more. We got plenty more. There's no more.